Okay, y'all see what's on this table today. These booze and bacon wrapped scallops. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, if you put these on your party table for your brunch, lunch, dinner, appetizer, whatever you want to call it, they're going to be gone in no time. So make sure that you get plenty of them prepared for your guests because this is an awesome treat for all to enjoy. So I invite you all to get on in this booze and food kitchen with me and let's get these scallops together. <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs> We're going to start this recipe uh, by getting our uh, bacon together. Now, I've looked at how many scallops I have here. And let me tell you, get the largest scallops that you can uh, at your grocer. I don't know how large they come in, but I saw some small and I saw some that they said large. And I don't know if this is considered large, but that's, that's what I have. But at any rate, I counted my scallops to see how many I had because I need a half piece of bacon to go around each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon uh, cut in half here, okay? Perfect. Okay, y'all see I'm cutting it on my, on my beautiful <laughs> booze and board here that I just love, my booze and food board. But at any rate, we got our bacon together here and now we're gonna go ahead and get our scallops together. And you see I have them resting on a paper towel because what we want to do is we want to pat them dry. Right? Pat them dry. And you know you stretch this uh, recipe and make it for as many or as few uh, as you choose to do so during this uh, holiday season. So there I've got them all uh, dried out here. And now I'm going to uh, get my pan ready push this back over here give me like a little assembly thing going here and here i'm using this <laughs> my uh, adult cooking sheet here i'm going to go ahead and spray this with a little cooking spray and i'll tell you i'll go ahead and get your broiler uh heated up now mine is going because you're going to need to put this in a very hot uh oven there so we're going to spray this pan down so it'll be ready for us right over here right Great. All right, let me push this back and we're gonna pull this down here. And I got my toothpicks ready because we're ready to wrap, okay? So here we go, we're ready to wrap. All right, so I'm gonna take one scallop here, taking a half piece of my bacon and I'm just rolling it around like so. And I'm taking a toothpick and I'm gonna stand them up and I'm going through there to secure it. Just like that, right? And I'm gonna sit this on my cookie sheet. And let's do another. And you see how easy this is? And you want to get this here together if you're serving it, serving it at room temperature to your guests. So you want to get this together and have it out of the oven uh, where it's you know kind of warm, you know, but you don't want it to just be cold I would say so I would say because this only takes about 15 minutes to cook but have that broiler ready and it's 15 minutes to cook and that way uh, when your guests arrive you can be serving them at a uh, room temperature and I'm gonna tell you now your guests are going to go crazy over this recipe so you want to make sure that you have enough for everyone try to at least get, let them have two or more, you know, you know your guest. Okay, so we're just gonna continue to roll here until we get all of these uh, scallops uh, two picked together. And make sure when you stand them, you're not putting them on the side, you're putting them standing up, right? Okay, so there we go. Let's keep going. And I'm sticking them all the way through. So we're nearing the end of the wrapping process and uh, 
If you're asking how many strips of bacon is that, y'all, I had um, 16 scallops. So therefore, I had eight strips of bacon. And um, I was asked before, could you do this recipe uh, it, uh, using turkey bacon? I'm not sure about um, that because I've never cooked it with turkey bacon. But what stands to reason to me is that yes, you can um, use turkey uh, bacon. But remember, turkey bacon uh, cooks a little faster than um, pork bacon does so it's some one of those things that you're gonna have to kind of monitor and if it were me I'd probably salt saute or, or brown my scallions a little bit and then wrap the turkey around it and cook it with less time but at any rate we got our um, scallions all wrapped up here and now we're gonna get the sauce together that we're gonna baste it in so let's get this glaze together now that we're going to use to put over these uh, scallops. Okay, in this bowl, I have one fourth cup of uh, maple syrup. And this is a uh, pure maple syrup. But if you do not have this, you do not have to just go out and buy this. Let me tell you what I use in a pinch. I use this right here, a little bit of pancake syrup. Same uh, taste I get. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add, put this here, I'm going to add a little liquid aminos. Now, soy sauce, you definitely can use, but I uh, like using liquid aminos because it pulls back on a little bit of that sodium. Soy sauce has more sodium than your uh, liquid aminos would have. So I'm going to come through with a teaspoon of liquid aminos because I'm going to, um, monitor my salt when I put it in there. So there, teaspoon liquid meals. But by all means, soy sauce, same thing, but a little bit more sodium. Now, you know it's gonna be boozing and this is where it comes in. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this uh, whiskey. And any brand of whiskey that you might have, one and two. And this is basically going to be making you a little booze and glaze uh, to go on those scallops there. Now what I want to do is add a fourth teaspoon, and this is just some garlic powder. Fourth teaspoon there, okay? There's garlic powder, not garlic salt. Because now I'm going to put my salt in there, and I'm going to use a pinch. Because remember that um, uh, liquid aminos has sodium in it, but not as much as soy sauce does. So there's a pinch of salt in there and then I'm gonna take my pepper and I'm just gonna, I love pepper though, but you know, you monitor how much you wanna put in there, it's to your taste. And then what I wanna do, so I don't know why somebody's trying to contact me now, but okay. So let me turn that down. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, come through here with a little bit of parsley, all right? And that's it, that's the uh, glaze. That we get ready and we're just gonna whisk that together there and remember have that broiler hot and ready and now what we're gonna do is basically um, brush this onto our scallops so basically what you see me doing here is I'm coming through and I'm just dapping a little bit of this uh, this uh, glaze all around here. And we're gonna uh, bake this. Remember the broiler is on. Um, yeah, those uh, stoves are calibrated differently. Uh, my stove, I think the broiler goes past uh, 550, something like that, 600. But at any rate, wherever your broiler is on your stove, get that together now. And cause we're gonna put this right in the oven there um, about 30 minutes before our guests arrive. And we're gonna let this bake or, or broil at for 10 minutes in that hot stove. And we're gonna take it out. And what we're gonna do is come across it again with this glaze. And you feel free 
to um, put some uh, foil on your pan if that's what you want to do to try to get yourself an easier cleanup. But that's it. So now we go into the oven. Okay, so these have been going for about 15 minutes. And watch the calibration of your uh, oven, you know. So this for, for these are about halfway through. They're starting to uh, really crisp up there. Stand that one back up. And so what we want to do now is come through and we want to go again on top of each one with um, this little glaze. And when they go back in the oven, we're going to watch them then until the bacon is done because you know we don't want to be eating no uh, raw pork here all right so let's come through and just like you know you you're uh, frying the bacon in the oven you know um, how it crisp up brown right now it's halfway there all right so now we're just going to go back in the oven and for probably about another five minutes or so And out of the oven they come. All right. Now what I want to do real quick, I'm just going to take a little bit more of my parsley and sprinkle it on top like so. And I'm going to let them cool just a little bit. And this is just more decorative than anything else. If you have fresh parsley, by all means, use that. But this serves me just fine. And that's what we want to do. Let them sit for a minute. And then we're going to take our tongues and serve them up to our guests, or plate them rather for our guests. So here are our booze and bacon wrapped scallops. <laughs> all right, y'all. I want to thank you all immensely for joining me in this booze and food kitchen where we're approaching two years of me uh, being on here cooking uh, for you guys a couple in a couple more months be two years and I've got several recipes on there that I like for you all to peruse through and give them a try but y'all know I'm always inviting you all to get your peek on each day there is something good happening in each and every day that we live and breathe, and I'm always finding my peak. But at any rate, today we got these, whoo, uh, boozing bacon wrapped scallops together. And honey, they do not disappoint. Now I hope we got them together in time enough for your holiday party, but I tell you all, this particular recipe is good for a Christmas party, New Year's uh, Eve uh, party. Easter party, whatever party you night, or just throw yourself a party just to eat some of them, because that's what I'm doing today. So I invite you all to please, please give this recipe a try. Don't forget to subscribe to me, because baby, over here we keep it booze delicious. All right, well, I'm going to go on and get out y'all hair so y'all can go on and get your party together or get yourself together, whatever it is that you might need to do. Again, I want to wish you all a happy holidays, the best to all of you, and I'm going to go on and get into this right here. I'm mad when I tell you something is some kind of good, this right here. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I usually do too, but honey, this is so filling. <laughs> I can only do one, but baby, when I tell you, God, believe me. <laughs> <laughs>